What's up guys, Snookin here, today we're back uh, with another showdown live video. Today we're continuing laddering with the Mega Dance team I used a lot the past two episodes I think. But we will continue and try to ladder with this team. Try to get into the 1200s after this ep episode, hopefully. And this man has a Skarm Raid, probably a Mega Dance 2, a Thunderous, a Landorus, a Holucha and a Tornadus. Why is he running all the... Tornadoes and all this, how do you even call it, the trio? But, oh, I picked the wrong team. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I will do two battles at a time then. Until I wait. So, this thing. This team is probably gonna lead Skarmory or Tornadoes. So, Tormanet hands, just Skarms my best lead. He's Zyansi, nice. So, now we can go for a U turn and go out of here. He's gonna protect probably. This he has a Alta Mega Altaria, Ferrothorn, Stormy, Entei, Conkeldor, and G Gengar. So probably gonna leave with Town Flame to U turn out first turn. Or if he leads probably with his Stormy probably is his best lead. He he protects. So now he can go for a U turn. This thing was my do they even have a special tank? Oh yeah, this thing's my my speaker is my special tank. Yeah, we could take a hit. We do, but he gets the defense boost, which is annoying. But now I can I could go. I can't go for toxic. I need to go for skull. I think he could take me out with any of his moves. So he, this guy still hasn't made this move. Hopefully he does, so I get three points. He protects again, which giving me more. Why would he protect? <coughs> he's giving me more health than he's... He could have just attacked me right there. I, could, I go for another skull, tornado D comes out, please... Yeah, we get the burn, which is nice. Now we can go for a reflect, probably. Set up my reflect, he goes for knockoff, he gets a crit, which is annoying. What do we get a reflect of? He this command leads Gengar on my town flame. I am faster, so U-turn is still my play, but his play is probably to go into, he can't risk Ferrothorn switching the first turn, so I would go just go for a U-turn, he stays in, why? He was lucky I just didn't go for, he probably went for Sludge for Shadow Ball probably, so my best play is Ferrothorn, yeah Ferrothorn, no the Yancey has a high special defense, which is my best play then. So he's tornado is still in here, so I go I can go for an ice ice beam. Please go into either tornado into thunderous or landorus maybe, but he couldn't risk it. So he goes into thunderous tornado thunderous, which takes a good load from my ice beam. I'm fully specially defensive, I think, but he knows I have a Jolteon, so if he risks me switching into Jolteon, but I c I can risk going into Jolteon here. He he can't he he needs to go for an power ice. He goes for Thunderbolt, we are immune to that. He has Volt Absorb as well, so he knows he's probably specs, so he's not gonna stay in. Did he take life or that he, ah, he takes he he took life or damage. So his probably other move is hidden power ice. Which is his only move to go, he can go for. And I'm and I'm life for Jolteon, so he would he would he just stay I don't think he can do much. So my better play is Oh, this is bad. He got crit on my Nancy. So now we, I can go for a Hint Power Ice or a Shadow Ball. Hint Power Ice is a better play. Or the Volt Switch to predict him to switch. He doesn't switch out. Goes for Dark Ball, so fuck. I didn't even know how much a hint, Life Orb boosted Hint Power Ice does, but I need to take this thing down. So now we can go for Mega Evolve and Protect, which then we will, al that will allow us to to eat up any of his hits probably because then we can go for it he can't really touch this thing our only option is to go for a moon blast which wouldn't do shit so he needs to go for another sludge bomb we need to get our mew in here that's so annoying he had he, he does have giga drain so sludge bomb giga drain and shadow Ball is probably his moveset so I need to keep my thing alive, so I need to go into Ferrothorn. 
Now I go for hint power, he goes for hint power, well, he kills us, but we both die to life orb damage. If I didn't over predict right there, like uh, if I didn't predict that swap, that would be much better for me. Then would I, I would have ha had my Jolchen still alive, but he had a, a Landorus and a Diancy, so it wasn't really that use useful to me anyway. Now I can go into Gliscor maybe. I'll probably the Armanitan is better. The Armanitan is my play. He goes into the Yancy, which is annoying. But what can we do? We could go for Superpower, Neutral, Scarfed, but still. We swap into Ferrothorn on his Ferrothorn swap, which we can both set up our rocks. But I want to get my Town Flame in here, which he does try to set up his rocks. But I'm banned the Town Flame, so. That's not even a good, good play. Like, my only op his only play is just to stay in. So I need to get my Mew in on this thing. So I need to come for a U turn. He swaps. Perfect. Uh, I go for Choice Bandit. Bandit uh, U turn, which does loads to the Stormy. Which I can. I think I can now go out into Mew and defog the rocks away because he has a Stormy and I'm fully specially defensive Mew. So my, I have an easy play to go for defog right here. Now I need to just go into U turn. He protects. He goes into Ente. We defog his rocks away, which is nice. So no more rocks on his side of the field. But we have a little bit of a problem. We need to go for a psychic right here. He goes for Sacred Fire. He, who rated loads to me. Now I need to get a psychic off here. I needed the damage to kill. Now I need to try and go for a roost if he misses his Sacred Fire. He has E-Speed, and he doesn't quite take us out, and I went for Roost, that was a bad play. Why did he go for E-Speed? Now I'm gonna go for another one, he goes for a... He gets a crit on Sacred Fire, didn't really matter. But now I have to play back into my Talon Flame, which I, I think... Uh, it's better to go for... Do I have Speed? I do not have Speed Antic, probably. Like, I can't go for Dragon Ant, I need to go into Talon Flame. Which does a. I could predict his, but if I go for Flare Blitz, I, my Stormy is almost dead. So Flare Blitz is my play. It's, it's my play. Like the Ferret one will get one shot in. He goes on the Stormy, which will die too, because I'm banded. So that thing dies, so now. He goes on the Skarmory, which is a fucking bitch. Now I can go back into my Suicune and try to go for Skulls, which hits this whole team. We, we get a burn, nice. He whirlwinds us out, no, that's alright. Now I can, I can Mega and go for a, a Ice Punch. Like, why wouldn't he swap me? He knows I have Faker and he's probably Scarfed Landorus. So, I need to go for an Ice Punch. He stays in, doesn't matter. He has a rocky helmet. He puts up his rocks again. Which is fine by me. What? Someone sent me a message. What? Okay, now is my play to go for another ice punch. Or drain punch to get some health back. But now he has to swap into his. Into his land rust. No, and Diancy. Why? Is he faster than me? He is. But can he can one shot me. It's kinda annoying, but my sweet can should take it. But not after rocks, uh and I do not speed him next turn. See, that nah, that was a bad play. Don't think I had speed, no. If he doesn't run if he doesn't run, run speed investment I had speed. Which he probably does. See what does run speed investment on that thing. Now I have Pharisee. Does he have HP fire? He showed Protect Diamond Storm Moon. It's probably Earth Power as his last move, so he probably doesn't have it. But now he has this easy swap into. Please don't have HP fire. I need to go. Oh, okay. I think this. That doesn't kill. HP, and I kill. So I think I win this match against this guy. I think I win that match. I go for a Leech. See, get my health back. He probably is running heat wave, that's why he swapped it in. So, predicting a heat wave, I'm going to go to Gliscor. 
Probably has heat wave fight with the other one is swapping in. Now he goes for knockoff. Which is fine because I'm a normal leftover Sky Score, not a normal Sky Score set. And we take out the Tornadoes, so I think we're winning both battles pretty good. But I I can't let him go for Dragon Dance. He's gonna, otherwise he's gonna sweep me. His play is to go for Dragon Dance. I need to go for Flare Blitz. Do some damage to this man. He probably went for Flamethrower predicting my swap. Now he knows he can't do this again. So I can keep swapping. Don't go for Flamethrower this time. He goes for Hyper Voice this time. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Wait. Sorry guys, someone is at my at my door, so I will see you in five seconds. Guys, I'm back. Oh, I'm pretty tired from running, going downstairs. Um, now I I need to go into for alligator, and he goes into Conkeldor, which is fine by me. Which I think this allows me to set up. No, I can't set up, because what health is this Ferator now? I don't think it it took any damage, which is annoying. But I need to get a waterfall off on this thing. Which two shots this thing? Just for knockoff, knock off my light orb. Which now I probably won't kill it with my next one. So now he knows that I won't kill with my next one. I need to go for D dance. Doesn't know how much did he do last time? And how much did he do? It did 39, that's 39 and then plus a mock punch, I think that will kill. So I need to go for another waterfall straight up. He doubles out of the Ferrothorn, which is fine, I need to get damage on this thing. He's a Rocky Helmet set, which is even more annoying. I need to get one D-Dance up and get more damage. Like, I can kill the rest of his team with Down Flame when I get rid of his Ferrothorn. Because that's the only one that, that like, stops me from going to, for Bravers. Because he's a Rocky Helmet. Please don't go for Power Web, just go for... And I don't have Heat Wave or Hidden Power Fire on my Zapdos, so my only check to this thing is Diancy and my Down Flint. Oh, I think I lost the other match. <laughs> he said I'm a noob, nice for him. Even though I'm beating him. Nah, I could give a knockoff here. I can't do anything else. I go for D dance, what does he go for? He goes for Thunder Wave, which is fine. The only thing I want is damage. I think, what is the strongest move? Like, Waterfall is resisted, Ice Point is neutral, and EQ is my best move then. I get some more da nice damage up. I do some good damage re right here. I could go for another one and kill this thing. If he doesn't have any attacking moves. He goes for Leechy, which is fine, because now I'm plus one, so the EQ should do loads now. Ah, he goes for Gyrewall, doesn't kill me, but the Leechy takes me out, which is fine, because now I have my swap into Diancy, and I have HP Fire. But doesn't a Moonblast kill from this range? Sorry guys, I will kill this, because I'm raiding battling, so... I think I have max special attack investment on this thing against a Ferrothorn, probably the normal utility set. How much does the Moon Blast do? He is at. I can't even read it right. He's at like 15%. That Moon Blast would kill. It does kill, so no switch ins. Now, he, I don't. I think Altaria does have speed, or Gengar has speed, so. That's even worse, and I didn't get to defog the rocks away, so I oh am yeah, my town flame dies to rocks. I think I lose. Sludge Bomb kills me. Now I need to stall out this Gengar with my Ferrothorn, which is not fun to watch. Forfeit noob. <laughs> get the leech in on this thing. I know he has flamethrower. Please over predict again. Please over predict. Let me set up rocks. Because for hyperforce over predicting. Yes. Fine. Yes. He can't risk over predicting next turn again. 
Like I died to rocks because he does fifty percent and I'm only at forty seven. But my only Ferrothorn is gone, so like pretty much I can still win. Oh, I forfeit. <laughs> okay, that, that wasn't even meant to bail this guy. He's probably not gonna overpredict twice. But he still does. Why? What the fuck? I get a crit. I can go for a power whip and kill this thing. That's like the thing I, I wanted to do. Now the Conkeller is gone. He will die. Let's see to my. I hit so the bye bye Conkeller. So the Conkeller is gone. Now he only has his Altaria and his. Which Altaria took so much damage. Now he needs to go for Flamethrower. He needs to go for Flamethrower right here. He needs to. Just gonna sack off town so I can see what he does. He goes for flamethrower, see? That was his play. Now my Zapdos is here. I don't know what does more. Does Ericor do more? I want to see this. How much does Zapdos? Well, it's not a bulky Zapdos, it's Tim's max special attack. Against a Altaria, Mega Altaria, probably special special Altaria. What does more does Air Cutter do anything? Air Cutter, so weird on Air Cutter. Like Air Cutter does the most damage. I need to go for Air Cutter. It doesn't quite kill him, and he goes for Roost. Fuck him. Really, fuck this guy. I can win this. He was so lucky, it did 40, now he has more health. So annoying. My spec Zapdos needs to come true. <laughs> this is so stupid. Why did that do so much? It did 40%. Is that the max damage it could do? He isn't specially defensive a little bit. Probably. Did I get a max roll? Please go for your move. I don't have ho the whole day. To fucking wait until you make your move. I'm losing my ladder a bit because of that latest battle. Please don't make your move. Just let me win. I win. Like, what can you do? Ma Max, the best thing you can do is go for hyper voice. I too shot him. He goes for hyper voice to damage me, which now I can kill this if I don't miss. I hit. Yes. So now he can go into Gengar, but I can stall his Gengar out. But I'm slower than Gengar. Pretty sure. Like, he needs to go for a Shadow Ball. Wait, so what health is my Ferrothorn at? It's at half. So I need to land this... This... This lead sheet. He... Uh, how much did he do? He did more than enough. If he gets a Mineral, I, I still have a chance. But I don't think he will get a Mineral. He doesn't and we lose. There goes our rating even more. He was so lucky, this guy. Like, if I didn't get the min roll on the first one, then I would have had a chance. Because then his Gengar wouldn't have one, one shot me with Shadow Ball, and then would have get an air cutter off. Which would have allowed me to go for Gyro Ball with my Ferrothorn to take any hit. So now we are here in this battle. His, probably, his lead is probably Jolteon. Why wouldn't you leave with Jolteon? I would love to leave with. He doesn't have any counters to Ferrothorn. Except his own. He needs Duck Trio, which he will stay me in because I'm trapped. But I can go for his Stealth Rock. Instead of my rocks, he sets up his rock as well. But l luckily for me, I have a Defogger. I think he has a spinner in Quillfish. Does, does Quillfish get to the rock? Spin stuff? Oh, I don't even know. Gyro Ball should annihilate this thing. Here's the Marowak, which thing is slow. Ball. Now I can go for a power up. He goes for f fire punch. I hate people. Oh, fuck. My god. Is Marowak like the slowest thing in the world? I easily outspeed it. I think I can sweep him. No, I can't. Oh yeah, I have earthquake, so I need. I can go for dragon dance because I will live any hit from a Marowak. <laughs> Only thing that would have a chance to beat me is. Oh no, no. Even if he's like. 
if he even if he's um, Sash Ductrio, he can't live because I have rocks on his on the side on his field. Oh no, he has Ditto. I can't go for that. He would sweep me with a Ditto for alligator. Shit. It goes for double edge. Does that thing get rock head? It, de it does. So you're probably going to a thing to copy me. With the Ferrator. Which doesn't take it. With another one kills. And he doesn't have any things that can take it. But I die. So that's. There's. Is my Ferrator gone? And, wait, and he only lost one. But actually, he lost like two. Could you say? You could say. Because the Duck Trio. He's fast because he took rock damage first. Now I need to defog those rocks away. He goes for bulldoze. Why would you run bulldoze? You fucking retard. Okay, now I can willow. He goes for rocks again. I willow. It's a damage to stay more before I go for another defog. Then he goes for memento. I don't care. Like. Why? I don't even care about my attack and special attack. The only thing I want to do is like defog the rocks away. Because now he has rocks so my defog wouldn't affect him. If I lose to this guy, I'm quitting. Like, he bulldoze. Fucking bulldoze as a move. He would have run that dumbass move. He goes into ditto and he gets all my stats <laughs> lost. <laughs> Nice one. Nice ditto. <laughs> he transformed my stats. So. <laughs> nice move. Nice move. <laughs> that was. Why was that such a stupid play? And my Diancy pretty much destroys him. From now on. Psychic doesn't do anything. I can Mega and go for 8 Moonblast. He, he can go into Quillfish. Next turn I will. Fuck, I hate my- this shit doesn't work. He goes from will o <laughs> I bounce it! Actually, oh, that was actually an alright play. I two-shot his ditto. So now his Quailfish is playing, but I can't risk him. it not killing. Next turn, boom, that kills, nice. But now he has his Jolteon to swap into. Like, Jolteon would punch on me, that it would. But I have Mew, but... I can't risk it. Thunderbolt don't kill. It, it does his life form. So that's good to know. He's not spec, so I think I would be able to live ahead. Shadow Ball does 38%. I can live another one. I go for a roost now. Take this thing out later. He gets, doesn't. Please don't get a special defense drop. He doesn't get special defense drop. Can I now take two? I can't, so I need to go for another one. But at this point, he's just damaging himself even more. See, I need to get some special defense drop. So now I need to swap my Zapdos in, because I can't sacrifice my Mew. And he has a Marowak, so he probably. He goes. He doubles out into Quillfish, which is right alright for me. I don't think Marowak outspeeds me. But I need, I can't risk him switching into Marowak. But he he will switch it. Why would you stay in with a Quillfish on a Zapdos? That's actually the dumbest play. Go for him, Puff. Why the fuck would you? Oh, now I get it. Goes for Debon. I can win this battle, please. Let me win this. Poison Jab doesn't do shit. And now I can go for a Psychic. I'm base 100, I'd speed a Quillfish. But I buy Quillfish and now I think I win this. this. Because now he needs to go into Jolteon and Jolteon dies to a Psychic and he. It only, unless he gets a crit, I still win because I still have my Down Flame. And he gets a crit, of course he does, of course. But now I still have my Zapdos and go for Hidden Power of Grass and win. Because I'm Specs, Specs Hidden Power of Grass. He has Hidden Power Rock. He has what? By speed, it's gonna be only it's gonna be two. 
and tapped us at speed of Marowak. Marowak is slow. And I think we get one, one, no, we lost two and we won one. Now I'm back into the 11, the 1001. So, but that is, it's, that it is it for the, today's episode, guys. I will see you guys next time. Bye.